Um, I think Roshan is a little bit too strong. Like, if they made him... I don't know, like, 50% stronger without... Yes, NC is ready. Darkseer can't out deny him. I think they're gonna rotate and actually a mid. Yeah, Pycat's dead. He's got a haste rune on Hanskin. He'll just be able to run down Pycat, and he'll actually take the last hit. Not letting Limp get the opportunity. So, yes, the hero 100%. that he feels the most comfortable with by far. And, I mean, it shows right now. And so, mid actually... Okay, brings him back. Yep, nice setup. Limp is caught inside the uh, kinetic field. They do have the living armor helping him out, as well as the bottle delivered. And that is actually going to be enough with the slowdown on Pycat. They could actually turn this one around. Like oh, no! And Pycat goes down, overextending their welcome. And that goes to show the strength of the living armor, plus the very timely uh, is to pick up his level 6 and the burst damage of the Laguna Blade. Really, you only need one support rotation. Hanskin caught out here. They are actually going to go for a glimpse play. Kinetic field. Blocking him out. Nice. Body blocking. Mad. Can he get there in time for the stun? Ooh, just barely. The TP was about to complete, but Mad does manage to get the... So it's not that big of a deal, but... It does. That's just a good sentry in general. It covers out so many vision, so much vision. Yeah, It'll right. take away the most common spot. Yeah, and those are like the three most common slots, but Hanskin might actually get caught out. He's got so much move speed, though, on Skyrath. Yeah, but Lona's going to catch up eventually, thanks in part to the Shrapnel. Limp's going to come in, Light Strike Array, ready to go. The stun on the Limp, they're actually going to go for him first, and that is a critical kill. He gets off the Light Strike Array, but not good enough. Now the TP back from Hanskin, cancelled by a glimpse, and that is going to be Pycat ending the fight with a double kill. 5-3 to three in the favor of Alliance. Yeah, and just a really good rotation by Lota. Obviously, the living armor wouldn't be so good. It, it just feels a little bit selfish, right? He's prioritizing himself over his Oh, Hanskin. Yeah, Hanskin's very dead. <laughs> The physical damage from these heroes is enough. Uh, Ake is going to go down at the same time. They're going to trap Era inside the kinetic field. Looks like they actually want to go for this one. Loda with the uh, ion shell is going to be able to run over Era. It looks like the right click not quite good enough. Another one. Nope. Darkseer goes down to the Laguna Blade, though, and they're going to be able to chase they're down Mad. They're going to chase down Mad. They do have Train Protector coming in from the side. Loda stalls him up. Light Strike Array misses, but Mad will go down eventually. So double kill for Limp as yeah, Alliance play that pretty aggressively into the enemy jungle. And with the Lina rotating around, it makes it a decent fight for them. For at all times. Yeah. I mean, it's a guaranteed kill on whoever he grabs, right? Ah, uh, Aerith's dead. He, he knows it too. He's just going to get off the Whirling Axis and try and survive as long as possible for the TP's in. But with that kinetic field set up, Ake manages to zone out the rest of the TPing and supports. And now Nip. They got to be careful here. They did cancel one of their TP's back to Glimpse, and they're going to grab Yoda some fun. Stun him up, keep him inside of that Static Storm, and we'll be able to get the kill. Lich trying to slow down with the, uh, oh, no, Surge actually will get him away. Oh, the Laguna Blade, long range from Limp, gets that kill. Now Ake is going to be next, hit by the Light Strike Array, and right click down. Limp, once again, making the right rotations at the right time when uh, Alliance. Nine kills, but look at the amount of farm that he has, or lack thereof. Yeah, he hasn't gotten any of the, I mean, he got one kill, and that's it. The last hit wise, he's really suffering. Yule Scepter, and he's gonna die again here. Stunned up, double ultimates. Well, no, actually, they don't need the Laguna Blade, just the Mystic Flare is good enough, but they caught two inside of the Static Storm. Limp, the only hope is him getting out, but the right clicks are more than enough, and now the Sniper is gonna be able to chase down more with the Shrapnels laid out. Does give them the vision to be able to lock in Era. Nicely placed by Ake, holding that hero in. Era will go down. Nikwa barely manages to survive. Good swap out there from Mad. And Yoro some fun. Looks like they want to try and chase him down underneath the Tier 1 tower, but they halt their aggression. Alliance play it just well enough in order to count. He's at 5,800 net worth right now. Uh, so what do you think? Just straight Blink Dagger after the Yule Scepter in order to get that kind of initiation? Mad going to be found here. Yule Scepter, stun, and blow him up. Nice and easy. Question is, can they actually get out? Loda's trying to set up for a kill. Limp is running down from the rest of his allies. Hanskin's going to have to turn this one around, though. Light Strike Array misses. Nice dodge there from Loda. They're going out for this kill. Seal Kid does have enough for Frost Nova. At least the cooldown's ready to go. He just needs a little bit more mana. Turn it around. No, nope, Seal Kid just runs away. He knows Hanskin's going to be caught. He's still taken out by the Assassinate. Hanskin also going down. Light Strike Array hits Nikwa, but Lim cannot stay on that kill. They do force a lot of the Alliance members and draws. Creates a lot of space for both middle and top, but they... They know about yeah, the Roshan. Roshan. Yeah, it's whenever you pop that ultimate, you should know. If Turl's not on the map, he's doing that. Limp is going to be caught out here. Static Storm quickly cleaned up with the rest of... Oh, swap out. No, it's not Mac. good enough. Pycat just gets taken out there with the Mask of Madness. Matt's going to be up next. Glimpse back, but I don't think it'll save Ake. 
as he will be run down by the very, very fast troll, or maybe not. Surge gets Sake some space. Range form. Era couldn't quite get the last hit, and I'm not sure if those nukes are going to be enough. Yeah, Yasha just, face oh, boots. Right, he's got him. Last right click, and he will die. No response whatsoever from Alliance. Nikwa may even be caught if he's potentially bashed up. Four staff gets some distance, and he's just by, uh, kind of kiting. Era around. Finally, Loda comes in, gives him the surge. Amplified damage, but Loda can't keep up. Like, it is actually so troll fast. Troll is so fast. He gets surge, and he's, like, barely faster than the <laughs> troll. It's ridiculous. The response from Alliance, they glyph oh, up. Oh, this TP is so back. bad for NIP. Yeah, it really is. Hanskin's going to get bursted down. Uh, Limp is going to try and go for the quick kill on man and does get it. But now they've been grouped up together. Loda is still looking for that extra kill. The rest of Nip, though, managed to respond in time. Skyrath Mage just didn't die fast enough. There's that force staff coming into play, but it doesn't matter. Loda still goes down. Seal Kid almost surviving, but... Not quite good enough. It feels like that frost armor. Did they have frost armor on the uh, on the Skyrath Mage? You, you'll start a fight four v five, and as I've said before, Dota is a numbers advantage game. Did they see that smoke? I feel like Nip are playing too aggressively that they didn't see the smoke. They're gonna try and drop Loda though. They're gonna be a successful overgrowth and Mystic Flare is enough to kill the kill. Now Ake is in some trouble. Cleaned up by Limp. They do get the kill on uh, Hanskin, but Alliance. They just all got to retreat now. Nikwa on the side is going to try and TP out or not. He's just surging around. At the same time, Limp's actually in some trouble. It's the Sniper peeping his way through Heroes. He's going to be able to get the Seal Kid. Oh, nice bounce back to Chain Frost. It's going to be able to finish up Nikwa. And that slows down PyCat enough for Aaron to catch up as well. PyCat going for the Jukes here, but the Whirling Axes gives him enough. PyCat is fast enough to get out, though. So they do. Is Aaron in trouble? Oh, God. Aaron doesn't dead. have. He actually doesn't have Aegis as well. Oh, but he's Jesus. getting tree armored. He has to be careful right now because PyCat's got shrapnel up as well. This is like the weirdest kite battle oh ever, but Limp's God, coming man. in. He's going to go he's for, gotta go for the kill. PyCat it does end up getting wiped out by that one, two. Ake is going to try and get the kill onto Limp. He's got static storm. That's a guaranteed kill right there. Meanwhile, Era chased down by Loda. Should be able to get him. Last right click does get it in the end. Unison PyCat buys on. back as well. Yep, he buys back. It will be a part of the train protector kill. Peeped. PyCat, 23 to 22. What an insane, almost all Swedish battle we have on our hands. 40 f at least no, so vision-wise isn't the best for them. And if they come in after this Roshan, the Wave of Terror will spot it out, but... Oh, with the vacuum, he actually puts Limp onside the cliff. That is a great start. Ake okay. tanks the Chain Frost. Probably going to be going down here. Limp manages to finish off the Darkseer with the Laguna Blade. Seal Kid will die as Loda, well, the Assassinate, rather will finish them off and the rest of ninjas in pajamas they win the fight they get the aegis they don't get punished for it at all a good fight for them absolutely and it all comes down to the fact that they smoke ip have done they instead of farming out the map like most teams do they actually counter smoke because they know that they're there and era well he has been spotted out amplify damage but he's already on top of Ake. both supports down and out alliance just on full retreat at this point in time you know some fan was hoping to catch more but doesn't look like it TPs out. Well, it's relatively negligible. You lose both of your supports there, but it's the fact that smoke takes a really long time to respawn. I mean, look at how much it's going to take for Alliance to get to the next smoke. It's nine minutes cap. Oh, jump on a limp, hoping for the bash. Not quite getting it. Now the Yule Scepter onto Loda. And, uh, well, it looks like PyCat should be enough to clean up this kill anyway. And that is going to spell the end of the engagement. Alliance back out. Happy with that one pickoff. Loda, whoa, he's actually going back in there looking for the amplified damage. Chase down Hanskin. Nikwa looking for the vacuum as well. Managed to catch three, but unfortunately the blink dagger on cooldown. Loda could not follow that up. Overgrowth catches out mad, but really that's about it. PyCat's still in great position, but Era's going straight for him. He knows he has to deal with this carry, but stunned up by Loda with the amplified damage on top of him. Loda may die, but it may cost Era his life. Chain Frost bouncing over to PyCat. Not a good situation. Era now manages to get the Whirling Axes onto PyCat, and he's going to end up falling. There's nothing he can do about this one. That miss percentage. Oh, is it? Oh, wow. He actually gets away. PyCat peeps Era, takes out that Aegis, but Seal Kid is now going to push forward. Not getting the kill on a pie cat. The slowdown on the Mad will get that. What a swap, though. That mad will swap definitely take cow. that trade 10 times out of 10. I feel like Era could have gotten the kill because he didn't switch to range form right away. Yeah, he but. might have had half a second there, but probably thought they had the kill. But pie cat, yes, it was. He'd be the only person that would be close enough at this point to get it. And so what Edi Alliance have to do right now is bait out pie cat and then swap him out. And then at that point, you have to kite the shit out of Era. 
<laughs> like you yeah. kite. I was gonna reference oh, that book. Dear. Hanskin is gonna blow up mad real quickly, and he's gonna try and get out. He's got the defensive Yule Scepter ready to go, and the and response to get out. from his team is gonna be coming in. Era trying to get to slow, but Pycat one step ahead. Ake is gonna be slowed down. Limp is gonna be able to finish him off. Laguna Blade on the Loda, trying to finish him off, but it's still not enough. That needs the Static Storm. It's gonna be able to lock down Limp. He pops the BKB. Pycat now taking the Chain Frost. Era right on top of him with the overgrowth on top of all of that. Pycat Era actually BKB dodges it. Too early, but nice four step. Eric gets away, trying to lock down Pike at range for him to finish him off, and that will now mean the end of Alliance's team fight. Ninjas and Pajamas win it without losing a single hero. And both teams fought really well there. I can't yes. stress that enough. I mean, Alliance, they had perfect timing with his last breath. Okay, even though he didn't die, he throws out the Static Storm and actually managed to survive. The Slardar goes in as well. They kite really well, but... And then you saw Era dodge the stun from Slardar by blinking forward past it, and they were able to kill the sniper as well, and Era's just going ham now. Yeah, Era just wants as many kills as humanly possible. Couldn't quite get the kill on Ake, though. Uh, will be forced back to take this lane of Rex. Guaranteed dead. Fortunately, the rest of the Tier 2s are still up, so Alliance are definitely in this game. They're not going to lose two sets of Rax, just one, and they don't need to lose any heroes to try and defend. Ninjas and Pajamas are actually going to smoke up to 25 to 31, 40 minutes in. And Ninjas and Pajamas really just need one last team fight, and they will have this game in the bag. And it may all start with an invisible limp setting up, gets the stun onto Pie Cap, but he's immediately bursted down, or almost. There goes the Aegis. The rest of them locked out by the kinetic field, and Era is actually not going to be able to blink forward. The shrapnel is canceling. That means Limp. He's probably going to go down in the front lines. He gets the kill on the support, but Loda comes in with a stun on his seal kit. The static storm still zoning out the rest of ninjas and pajamas. Hanskin eats the cheese, but he'll fall again still. Not sure if that cheese is worth it. And Yonas some fun trying to get the kill on an equal. I will actually be able to as now Era comes in with a BKB. He says he can 1v4 and he's right. He can take oh down two. <laughs> Era's running down the rest this of these heroes. Is so Pike is slowed down. Ake just needs to try and create as much space as possible. But the blink forward. Era still locking onto Pycat as best as possible. Not letting this little dwarf escape. BKB activated by Pycat as he's trying to get ahead of Era. Loop around. TP out the with the bash. Oh, no. oh, oh my god. The bash. Pycat's done for! No escape, the range axes will give him the vision necessary to complete the kill. The Bash Lord Era. The fact that he, that was insane. He just goes in 1v4 and he's like, I will take you all out by myself. And, <laughs> oh, that, right? I, I mean, mean, he's so mobile, he gets in the sniper's face all the time. If there's any any hero with a blink dagger and a Scotty, he's going to be good against a sniper. Right. So, But also one that's super, super fast, like a troll. Yeah, so... All, all things aside, really good play by Era. Ooh, that's going to be able to find Hanskin. They're going to burst him down oh, first. Three, man. Not the overgrowth. He's actually holding them all in place. The Mystic Flare goes down. Pike and Loda now just trying to wait from the troll, but it's not going to happen. Loda, stun up. Uh, they're going to try and slow him down with the Scotty as best as possible. Era being slowed down by Pycat. He's actually just trying to keep his distance as best as possible. Pycat's got a kite for yeah, his life here. He, he can't actually stop because oh. the Blink Dagger would go up. Pycat now fighting up against Seal Kid as well. Era's going for the kill onto Loda, but farther up, Seal Kid should be going down. Pike oh, is he? actually finish him off. Eric gets the kill first. Now turns for the rest of the team. He's already activated his satanic, but he's stunned up. He may actually die here. Loaded trapped in the corner. Up against the troll. He will fall, but the supports will clean up the fight. And this okay, will with the spot. ultra kill. Oh, oh my lord. Jesus. How does he get the ultra kill as a disruptor? Okay, we were talking about his ultimate and getting like 10 neutral kills a second. Uh oh. Limp right in the middle of this is going straight for Pycat. They're going to lock him down. Overgrowth for staff getting some distance. Era actually jumps straight onto Ake, but he needs some more double overgrowth now going off. Pycat pops his BKB in order to get out, but Loda not so lucky. Quickly surrounded by the ninjas and three down on the side of Alliance. Limp will survive through that, so he's going to be good. He'll actually eat the cheese, and Ninjas and Pajamas will now push in to end the game. Feels like a placeholder right now because he can't get a tree up there. Loda. As well as Era, kind of got next to each other there. But, uh, well, Limp is actually going to go for this kill here, but they're going to turn around. Oh, Yule Scepter on to Loda. It's going to catch him out now. Limp, oh, no, it was miscommunication. Mad gets swapped into Loda. Now they're actually having to deal with Era. Nice bash from Loda, and it's going to be able to buy Pycat time. But look at Era. He just isn't losing HP. The life steals more than enough as he beats into Loda's face. Range for him to finish him off. The Laguna Blade also to get Ake. Oh, they're what a back. getting away. There's nothing there. 
They're all locked inside, but there's no AoE whatsoever out from the side of Alliance. It's just the Sniper peeping. Manages to get two. The Lina goes down. So does Skyrath Mage. Yono Samfan trying to get away from Niqua. Should be able to get out. Awkward engagement for ninjas in pajamas. Wow, that was just... They got too greedy there. Yep. Like, the the Slaughter had, like, one hit left. And Delina could have Laguna bladed him. Mm -hmm. But he thought to himself, okay, we'll definitely kill the Sniper. And that's twice now that he's done that, right? Where he decides twice now that he's done that, right? Where he decided he'd go for the value kill. Oh, wait, wait, Jonas, why? Why? And Jonas reveals himself, and he thought the Lino was a lot closer. They oh, Era's coming fight. in. He's actually going straight for Pycat. Is this another one versus four? Perhaps. Four staff forward. Pycat into the trees, but seen by the range axis, and now trapped at a corner. Nobody puts Baby in a corner, but oh boy, that Laguna Blade. Wipes him out. This time, Limp is not taking chances. No, they he are going to be able to stun up the Darks here. Niqua goes down, and further on, Jonas is actually trying to stall up the rest of these heroes from being able to escape the buyback from Pycap, but Nick was actually down for two if minutes. If dies Rota, again. Yep, he's out. 100 Jonas, seconds for both of them, and it's all up to Pycat now. Yeah, and Jonas actually manages to get a four-man on them, and Limp's getting quite low, though, and he's actually going to get swapped. Yeah, but Pycat, all right, Era's ready to go with the Blink Dagger. He's going to jump on Ake first. They get off the Static Storm, but Pycat is left all alone now. Matt is going to be able to help out a little bit. They he's might actually, actually get, get him as well, though. On Era. Pycat can now just keep on going. He'll run after Yonas some fun. He doesn't have the vision, though. If they can just get the invisibility off, Yonas will survive. But no, the clip's back. He's actually spotted out by the ultimate, and he will end up falling somehow, some way. Alliance are staying in this game, but they've lost their tier fours. They've lost so, so very much. That fight went so long that the bottom was able to push out <laughs> the tier fours. And I don't know if you're alive. And what if a team is playing like Total Ass? Do you just like make up bad comp? Like, not not bad compliments. You still, you're still talk. You can still you, talk. You can still give a compliment, right? But yeah. it's such a it's such a low oh, poor the smoke though. At that point. Yep, they got it. Loda's gonna be jumped on sight device to start out with. Era further down is actually jumping onto Mad and Ake okay, clearing them both out. Well, the sniper trapped in a corner again. Pycat, how many times have you taken this position? Era, He's though. actually gonna win this up against Era, possibly. Little gonna play from the side. Lip now forced back as Pycat hides underneath the cover of the trees. Our Alliance actually gonna win right. this. Era's gonna go down. Nikwa with the beautiful wall is setting up for a beautiful defensive position on Pycat as he continues to lay down fire. But now the Mystic Flare, long range artillery will take out the sniper finally. It's Seal Kid gets the last hit, and now with the Lina, Limp buyback era as well. They've there's got to so defend their throw well. at the same time. And there's just so many creeps as well. And oh, the refresher out from Era. He's got a fresh BKB, fresh Satanic, fresh everything. You know, no. doesn't have buyback. No, no ninjas in pajamas. Don't do it. Lotus oh, so close. They actually he was gonna get the assault. He was gonna get his AC. Oh, oh he actually oh gets swapped out though. Matt's actually gonna be the target. Mad, the savior of the dream, but now Lota's still going to go down. He's been sight the vice, overgrowth, controlled, nice, four staff away, and Lota actually survives. He's getting away. What a beautiful vacuum, as now Ninjas in Pajamas on the retreat. Lota comes back just for an amplified damage. Arrow pops the BKB and runs himself away. Yoda, some fun. Oh, my God, he died. I and heard the glimpse, and he does end up dying inside of the base. The rest of Ninjas in Pajamas on their way out. Baniqua trying to catch somebody. He doesn't have the sight the vice, so he and can't they hold really again. slow them down. They are, and that was just a Roshan pit waiting for someone to jump, but Roshan, there's Wo overgrowth number one. Here comes Limp, he's gonna pop his BKB, Static Storm needing a response, but the BKB is already up. Now Matt is in some trouble, Pycat chased away, Arrow right on top of him, trying to lock down the sniper as best as possible. Never overgrow, but the Manta! Pycat gets away, the vacuum into the wall. Pycat though, still in trouble, Arrow's trying to chase out, he's able to lock down the sniper, and Pycat will fall down for two minutes, no buyback for him. Loda left against the rest of the team. These images are actually doing so much work, but not enough. Loda will eventually go down with Jonas Samfan closing the distance inside of the pit, and that is going to be Alliance finally losing this game. They held. You've got no none on uh, the sniper for quite some time. He's like he has the gold, but this should mean the game. And Alliance, I mean, you should be okay with how you lost just because of the fact that you had such a big disadvantage in all categories. Like the fact that they almost brought this game in terms of experience to even. Uh, they were behind by 25k XP, almost were able to catch up. A flat 30k disadvantage for them in terms of the gold, but it was just one of those things where it was a matter of time, and that's why I felt like with the first Roshan they took, yeah, with all the buybacks down, at least go for it at that point. But mm -hmm. it's.